What is a torque speed curve and how do I use it? So a torque speed curve is a graph which is going to show the torque on the y-axis and the speed on the x-axis for any given motor. It should be labelled up so you can see what the motor is. If it's a if it's a motor that has a controller um, or a driver such as a, um, a stepper or brushless motor then you will also see what controller was there or at the very minimum you'll sort of see the settings that were used. So this is a typical um, torque speed curve. This is this is similar to what you would normally see with something like a stepper motor. Um, the key things to sort of look for at the top here, you would have what you call your holding torque or your stall torque. This is where you'd get uh, the maximum torque that the, the motor could possibly deliver before it's going to stall. Um, and then with a stepper motor, you typically see that the um, it's not a straight line as this, but this is just done to as, a, as an example. You will see that the, as the speed increases, the torque will will de decrease. Um, so as I say, the holding torque, that's the maximum amount of torque a stepper motor can handle without moving. Um, so if you were to lock it up to try and hold something um, stationary, that is the maximum torque it could deliver. Stall torque, same thing, but basically with servo motors. Um, so using a torque speed curve, that's very simple. You've just got to understand what you need from your motor and then find it on the, on the graph. Um, so if you're looking for you know something at a thousand rpm you can have a look and see what torque it's going to deliver if you know exactly what torque and speed you need you can just have a quick look and see if it will do it um, common mistakes so that people might just focus on one point so for example if you had something and it needed to be doing 600 rpm um, and, and four newton meters or less let's say then you know this point here is going to be it's going to be fine but if you're not thinking about what's going on up here as well you're potentially going to have a problem so for example if you had a high inertial load on your in your application um, depending on what you're driving you know then this particular thing it might be able to deliver what you need in running uh, in running mode but if you're looking at um, startup you're going to have problems so that's always just something to bear in mind um, the other thing to bear in mind is just as I said at the start stepper and brushless DC motors in particular they are done using a, um, a, a, a given controller um, so you do need to just check that because for example it's quite common that the motor itself will actually be able to deliver more torque or speed than it is showing in the graph if it was used with a different controller it's not always the case but it's just something to bear in mind